We are in the process of conserving and restoring two murals here in Hamilton Smith Hall. So this one is, is titled Industry, the other one is titled Agriculture and they're intended to be representing the artist's interpretation of those ideas in New Hampshire at that uh, point in time. We have very limited amounts of public art on the campus, and so in this particular case, having some historic pieces of public art made them even more important for us to be able to preserve them. The artists were trying to mimic the look of fresco painting, which is painting directly on plaster, like Michelangelo did, for example. Both murals suffered uh, from issues of water infiltration and moisture coming through the walls. This particular mural, for many decades, had been above a suspended ceiling, and so no one saw it. I mean, we knew that it was there, but it had been hidden away. This is all water damage, and the plaster basically just fell away completely from the wall. Everything just came out. It just, there was nothing there. There were holes, basically. We're very fortunate that there are archival images that the university has after these murals were done. What we're gonna do is actually project them with a projector onto the surface, line it all up, and basically then go in and put the heads back in, the arms, whatever's missing, get the outlines all in. We're fortunate too because there's so much of the original left that we, the color matching is pretty easy. I'm trying to go a little bit lighter than the original, knowing that it's going to dry darker. We do have one UNH alum, and that's Corinne Long, who you see behind me here on the staging. She's uh, now doing the in-painting that was still restoring the damages on the surface. This is um, an acrylic fill we use for filling small cracks. It's tough to work with, with a hard hat on. There's a lot more that goes into yes. it before the painting can start to understand the compatibility between what you're going to be putting on and what you'll be using to clean it how it will last over time, that's really heavily science-based. This is uh, the so-called WPA period, Works Projects Administration, which is like the same project that built the Hoover Dam. There was a huge push to, to decorate public buildings and universities, so often when you go into old libraries or you know, post offices, you'll see these murals from that period. So they're a very specific, unique moment in American painting and, and the history of America. They are you know, part of the history of the campus, as well as being art that, that helps us all to think about things from a different perspective. So in this case, we're seeing things through the lens of the artist and the people in the 1930s about what New Hampshire life was like at, at, at that moment in time.